Assalamualaikum. This is part 3B video. Continue from part 3A. For back titration, example number 2N, conclusion for direct and back titration. Example 2 under bed titration, okay, 150 ml of 0 0.2105 molar nitric acid was added in excess to 1.3415 gram calcium carbonate. The excess acid was bed titrated with 0 0.1055 molar sodium hydroxide. It requires 75.5 ml of the base to reach end point. Calculate the percentage with per width of calcium carbonate in the sample. So, can the equation ask to find percentage of width per width calcium carbonate in sample. So the formula is mass of calcium carbonate reacted okay, over mass sample okay, in gram time 100%. Okay, so we want to find gram of calcium carbonate reacted okay, to mass. Okay. Before that, you have to find number of mole of calcium carbonate reacted. Okay. So remember, in the first reaction, the reaction in conical flask okay, between calcium carbonate and nitric acid okay, reacted. Second reaction okay, titration between excess acid titrate with standard solution base. Alright, so to find more calcium carbonate related, you look at drawing 1 or drawing 2. Okay, so drawing 1 contain calcium carbonate, drawing 2 there is no calcium carbonate. So refer to reaction 1, okay, and come up with equation 1 here. So based from equation 1, Okay. Here, to find more calcium carbonate reacted, okay, you have to calculate first mole of nitric acid reacted. Okay. How to find number of mole nitric acid reacted? Okay, from the formula, initial mole nitric acid okay, minus excess mole nitric acid. Okay, so total mole minus excess, you will get mole nitric acid reacted okay so initial mole nitric acid you can find okay before ration 1 before a sample dissolve in nitric acid okay it is initial part okay then ration 1 occur how to find excess mole nitric acid? Ok, 
Okay, so you refer to which drawing? One or two? Okay, so it refers to reaction two. Okay, so when the reaction complete between excess nitric acid and sodium hydroxide, come up with balance equation equation two. Okay, so to find excess more nitric acid, okay, you have to calculate mole of base. Okay, by comparing equation 2. Okay. So the flow. Okay. Given in initial part. Molarity and volume. For nitric acid in excess. Okay. And then. My sample also given in initial part. Okay. And then the standard solution given molarity and volume of titra. Okay. For that information. So the flow you find initial mole of nitric acid first. You can calculate. Next, find mole of sodium hydroxide. Okay. Given molarity and volume titer, you can find more sodium hydroxide. Okay, during that equation. So, comparing from E equation to, you can calculate the excess mole of nitric acid. Okay. For step number 3. Step number 4, we calculate mole of nitric acid reacted. Okay, where... The formula is initial mole of nitric acid minus excess mole of nitric acid. You will get mole of nitric acid reacted. Okay, here. To find mole calcium carbonate reacted, okay, step number 5, comparing from equation 1, okay, where the reaction occurred between calcium carbonate and nitric acid reacted. Step number 6, find mass calcium carbonate reacted. And last one, step number 7, put into the formula, percentage weight per weight. And then like in sample, where mass calcium carbonate reacted divided by mass sample, given in statement, time 100%. Okay, so let's try to answer this question. Okay, so first, when there's two ration occur, there are two balance chemical equation. First equation, okay, when the ration occur in conical plus between calcium carbonate and nitric acid. Okay, so when the ration is balanced, there are two more nitric acid react with 1 mole calcium carbonate to form 1 mole calcium nitrate plus 1 mole carbon dioxide plus 1 mole water. Okay, for equation 2 from the titration, from the reaction 2, the reaction between nitric acid in excess with standard solution base. Okay, so when the reaction is Balance, 1 mole nitric acid react 1 mole sodium hydroxide to form 1 mole sodium nitrate plus 1 mole water. Okay, so for the solution, the first step is find initial mole of nitric acid. Okay, before the sample was dissolved in acid, so you can find initial mole of nitric acid given molarity and volume 0 0.2105 mole per liter times 0 0.150 liter. Okay, or you change the volume 150 ml 
into liter unit. So, we will get unit of mole 0.031575 mole. Okay, second step, find number of mole nitric acid reacted. To find that, you have to find mole of base. Okay, step number two, find mole of base from titration given molarity and volume of titra 0.1055 mol per liter okay, times 0.0755 liter so the answer is 0.007965 mol sodium hydroxide okay. step number 3 Find mole of excess nitric acid. Okay, by comparing with equation 2. Okay, remember this is from titration process from reaction 2. So, comparing from equation 2 to find number of mole of excess nitric acid. So, we have calculated earlier mole sodium hydroxide 0.007965 mole comparing with equation 2 okay times 1 mole nitric acid over 1 mole of base so you can say unit of base and then you find mole of nitric acid so because the ratio is same you will get the same answer right step one for step number three step number four find mole of nitric acid reacted from the formula initial mole nitric acid minus excess mole nitric acid 0 0.031575 minus 0 0.0079 Six five mole, so the answer is zero point zero two three six one mole. Okay, initial must be in the larger amount minus excess. You will get nitric acid um reacted. Okay, for step number four. Step number five: find mole of calcium carbonate. Reacted. Okay, remember during reaction 1, come up with equation 1 between calcium carbonate and nitric acid reacted. So, when you find nit more nitric acid reacted, you can find more of calcium carbonate reacted by comparing with equation 1. Okay, 0 0.02361 more nitric acid times 1 mole calcium carbonate over 2 mole nitric acid from equation so you can cancel unit mole nitric acid to find mole calcium carbonate okay, the answer is 0 0.011805 mole calcium carbonate okay and next step number 6 find mass of calcium carbonate mole time molar mass okay, 0 0.011805 mole time molecular mass for calcium carbonate okay, you will get 1.1805 gram okay last step step number seven find percentage weight per weight calcium carbonate so 1.1805 gram over Mass sample 1.3415 gram times 100%, you will get 87.99 percentage weight per week. So, for example, 3 you can look by yourself, okay? Try to understand the statement of equation, okay? So, in back titration, there are two reactions occur. So, 
form to balance equation. Okay, so remember uh, when two times comparison, okay, don't forget to add here mole of y. Okay. So the differences between direct titration and back titration. For direct titration, single state, so one reaction occur, so there are one balance equation form. Okay. For back titration, involve two step of reaction. Okay, step number one, reaction occur between analyte and sample and excess acid and then the excess acid titrate with standard solution. So when two reaction occur, there are two chemical balance equation form. Okay, so uh, if there's no balance equation given, you have to write the chemical uh, balance equation.